Hi, happy Tuesday and happy Thanksgiving week and welcome back to the Cross Training Women Weekly Live. I'm Allie, Christian Health and Fitness Coach and the founder of Cross Training Women, where I help women to transform their body and health biblically so that they can live fully and abundantly and carry out their God-given purpose. I would love if, as you join to please say hello in the comments, let me know who's here, whether you're watching live or the replay, and I would love to hear what are you looking forward to most this Thanksgiving? Let me know in the comments. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing an easy on the go apple overnight oat recipe with you. I love oatmeal. It, I have it every single morning for breakfast. It's so easy and quick to make. It's delicious and it's extremely healthy. So what's not to love, but normally when I make it and I'm at home, I make it hot. I just heat it up in the microwave. But whenever I'm on the go, if I'm traveling, whether it's by plane or by car, or even if I'm going on a hike, instead I make overnight oats. And overnight oats are essentially the same thing. They're just as easy and quick and delicious and nutritious. But the bonus is you can make it ahead of time and take it with you on the go and eat it cold. And so the reason why I'm actually making and sharing this recipe today is because I'm traveling later tonight. I am flying out to Alabama for Thanksgiving. And so I was going to make this recipe to take along with me and have as one of my meals or part of my meal. And so if you're like me, you're traveling later today or later this week, you could and you should totally give this recipe a shot and take it with you on the go. And I know you'll love it. So for this recipe, all you'll need is some whole rolled oats a apple, a ripe banana, some cinnamon, some maple syrup, some vanilla powder or vanilla extract, and then some oat milk or whatever plant-based milk that you like and prefer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mash up my ripe banana. And a ripe banana is key because this is where you get your sweetness from. And the riper the banana, the sweeter it's going to be. So what I'm doing is I'm just mashing the banana in my to-go container that I'm going to be using. And I'm just mashing with the back of my fork. I'm mashing, mashing it thoroughly. So that way I can incorporate it well into the whole mixture. So I just mash it up. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my oats. So I'm going to add a half a cup of Oats, sometimes I use three fourths a cup, sometimes I use a whole cup. It just kind of depends on the situation and you know what other food I have along, things like that. And then I'm gonna add half a cup of oat milk. Um, so I like to do about a one to one ratio. And then I'm gonna add my cinnamon and I don't measure for that, I just sprinkle it on. And in fact, I kind of more so pour it on because I love cinnamon. Um, so you can add as much cinnamon as you, as, you, as you want. You could also even add some pumpkin spice or add some nutmeg or ginger powder if you like some of those spices. And then I'm gonna add in my maple syrup. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna eyeball about a tablespoon. And this is honestly optional. It's gonna give it more sweetness. So it's gonna taste more like a treat or dessert. Um, you could also use something like date syrup if you prefer that or even um, dates. And I actually, I think, might have gotten a little bit more of the tablespoon. Um, and then I'm going to add in my vanilla powder. So I'm going to add in about a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla powder. Now, if you don't have vanilla powder, like I said, you can use vanilla extract and just use about a teaspoon of that. And honestly, that's optional too, but it definitely does give it a really nice flavor. So I like to do that. Now I'm just going to mix everything thoroughly together. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dice up my apple. So uh, this one is actually a pretty small apple. Uh, you can use a small apple, medium, whatever you like. This is a honey crisp, but you know, whatever type of apple you like, you can use. And I'm just cutting it up and I'm gonna dice it into just little uh, chunks. So super quick and easy to do this. And then I'm just going to throw this on top. And then I'm just going to mix that in all together. Now, when you let this sit then overnight or even just for an hour or two, you can put it in your fridge, it will thicken up. And so it won't be as liquidy. All of the oats will absorb the plant milk. And so it will, it will be thick and delicious. Um, the last thing is I actually had some 
leftover blueberries in my fridge. And since I'm traveling, I thought I would just use these up. And so you can even add some extra fruit in there. You can add some blueberries and, uh, and add some more flavor, some new, more nutrients to it. So that's seriously it. That's how easy it is. <laughs> you just put this in the fridge. So that's what I'm going to do. And then later tonight when I'm traveling, I'm going to pull it out and put it in my backpack and I'll have it on the plate. So let me know if you like this recipe, if you're going to give this recipe a shot, or if you're traveling this week and this is something that you want to try to make, let me know in the comments and let me know when you do try it, how you like it. Uh, but I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you have safe travels if you're traveling and yeah, I will see you guys back here next Tuesday. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.